This is a short lesson on how to oil your French horn valves. First thing you want to do is remove the valve caps from the top of the horn. Sometimes they're numbered, not always. Um, if they're numbered, try and keep them in order. Usually they're interchangeable. And the best oil to use for this job is rotor oil. If you have really noisy valve caps, or valves, I'm sorry, uh, you can use key oil. That's usually what they sell for woodwind instruments, but it works just great for the rotor valves. But after you've removed the valve caps, go ahead and put a drop or two of valve oil right on the center where the valve rotor is. If you look closely, you'll see where it actually rotates. That's where you want to get the oil, right in there. And then it's a good idea to ripple the valves a little bit like I'm doing right now. And then go ahead and replace the valve caps. Occasionally, if the valves actually get frozen. This is usually caused by not using the horn for a while, sometimes as short as a few days. And it seems like the oil dries up and causes everything to just freeze and nothing will move. When that happens, there's a little trick to try and help get it unstuck. Number one, you want to avoid putting a lot of pressure on this because if the valve's not turning and this thing is not moving, you'll, you will end up bending this valve lever or causing the strings to come loose or break. So you don't want that to happen. So if this is frozen, don't put a lot of pressure there. Instead, rotate the horn to the back side like I've done here and grab the whole valve mechanism on the bottom. That's the part that actually moves. Do you see that moving there? Well, when it's not moving, you can grab it and try and force it. Just push it back and forth. If you rotate it back and forth for a few, few seconds and it actually starts working, you can usually then go back to the top of the horn and check and see if it works by depressing the valve. If it does, go ahead and maybe give it an extra little squirt of oil from the bottom. You'll see this little split right there. I'm not sure if the camera will show that, but that's, that's where this valve mechanism is attached actually to the bottom stem of the valve. There's a little split there. Go ahead and put a little drop of oil there, too. And this is also a good place to put oil if your horn valves tend to get noisy, too, because this sort of deadens it a little bit. I hope this lesson on oiling your horn has helped, and you have lots of enjoyment playing French horn. I know I have. Thanks.